All right, yeah, so it's 91 players. In, <laughs> yeah. That's are a you, lot. Are you going to be there? I am not. No, nope, no. Nope. My next one is uh, TOC. Okay. Uh, you know what? I like to have some time to you know work on the work on the game i'm playing the minimum amount of of tournaments which is 16 ppas six mlps and i played beer city because beer city is awesome yeah right um but you know i like to i like to be here i like to train and i like to be in my routine as much as possible because i think that's ideally i would love to play 18 total tournaments which would probably be 12 ppas and six mlps yeah i think that's an ideal amount for me I'm, you know, I have to play 23, which is a little bit more than I I would want to. Um, so I do value my time here, training, you know, doing the off court work, all that stuff. How do you think about training versus actually getting real reps versus top talent, and like how that can impact and improve your game? I mean, I have training reps versus top talent here, which is which is nice. And who do you train with most here? There's, I mean, there's tons of people i'd say my my normal group would be uh deckel a couple times um john sincola just moved here really yep another one yep um let's get him on the pod uh, yeah let's do it okay um sincola's here uh stefan yeah and uh this guy mm-hmm. carlos um you haven't heard of him yet but you might eventually okay. he does a great he he might come on the podcast too okay as rafa nadal oh, he does the impersonations yeah he is rafa yeah yeah the nadal one yeah right right I um that. yeah so yeah carlos there's grant bonds over here there's yeah. julian lauren when they're in town i mean vivian over at dreamland lina dj's coming back jack monroe's coming back from california where was dj um california yeah uh, I mean, there's there's Thomas, the, there's the Hunter and Yates down in uh, New Braunfels. There's Wyatt Stone Pickleball Junior. Um, Is that the app? That's yeah, the yeah. Sometimes we call them up to the big boy games, but uh, <laughs> yeah. not always. <laughs> um, that's but cool. yeah. There's I mean, there's it's endless at this point. Right, right. And there's a whole bunch of really good five O players too who are like starting to to knock on the door at, at pro stuff as well. And, right. Like yeah like me That's like bad. yeah no i could i could probably set you up with uh with some 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 three fives Don't that i know and up my street cred once you know once you go beat matt klitsch at at tim's house then then you can i can't talk about getting matt in klitsch BBGs. because he's distracting me adjusting his glasses every <laughs> <laughs> every rally <laughs> every rally the three huh? times a rally he's like after every shot he's like, we're gonna we're gonna get a text message from him you know you know that right yeah we have to shout out matt klitsch but you know matt texts, he's, our, he's he one is, of our insiders he's our insider man yeah. he's texting us all of the yeah all the drama matt knew about my paddle drama before i knew about my <laughs> yeah, paddle right, drama right, right. um right. yeah so I don't know. Some, some of these people, there's a lot of these like insiders now who are just like, I feel like I've, it makes me feel like I've lost my fastball in terms of like knowing what's going on behind the scenes. Like people are telling me now. Yeah. They're just, they're just constantly on Twitter. They're in the blogs. They're on Facebook. They know what's going on. And there's just way more going on in pickleball now. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's hard to, hard to keep track of everything that's, that's going down. Right. Yeah. Now, one of the cool things about Austin though, is the fact that all these top pros live here. It's like the only thing that we rival that is that like South Florida. I think so. Right. Yeah. I mean, LA is getting, getting better. I think you're like kind of that, that area, but it's tough to, they, they have, they struggle with courts over there. Yeah. Well, right. actually so do we, but, mm-hmm. um, yeah. But I've never like, actually I drove by you one time on like a scooter but like I, I don't see I've run into Colin before and I've run into Leia. And that's about it. Like just kind of You've run into around. Leia in the wild? Yeah, she was eating sweet green. Oh nice. And I was leaving the gym. I was like, what's up, Leia? On down on, on Soco? Uh-huh. Okay. And where did you run into Colin? The library? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, we are we're uh, by where apparently we both get our hair cut. So um I would have I would have thought that you again. paid a lot more money for your haircut than Colin. Oh man, Finley's I think that's Finley's over on uh, Second Street. Finley's on Second Street. Shout out! Get him. It's right next to my, my dry cleaners, right there. My little markets, right there, and uh, my barbershops, right there. Keep it simple. There you go. Yeah. Nice. Wow. Then, Shout out to Finley's. Ben now. So Ben's always putting up these videos. <laughs> One of the funniest things. 
um, Jimmy said when we did the morning brew show was he was like, yeah, Ben's making content and he's like doing selfie videos telling us that he likes blueberries. Right? Like I think about that a lot because I thought that was so funny. <laughs> <laughs> but Ben does those videos. And if you look in the background, like off in the distance, there's like apartment buildings. Like that's my apartment. Oh, that's my your balcony's building? balcony's right there. So wow. I feel like one day I'm going to look. And you're going like, to be out zoom there. Zoom in and I'm going to be out there. So hopefully I'm not doing anything weird. Well, I think about that daily. Um, I, I almost forget about Ben and Colin. They're in their own world a little bit training wise. Every now and then we we play some. But yeah. AJ's here sometimes. Again, kind of in his own own world. Yeah, right. He's here. Um, but what do you think? So going back to that point, though, what do you think about Tim Parks saying? I think it was on It Feels Right. How like getting rid of the back draw is to the detriment of players who are trying to improve their game because one of the best ways to get better, and I guess this is sort of an adaptation from from chess, is like getting reps with the best talent. Mm -hmm. And because Ben, Anna Lee, and some of these other players are constantly making deep runs, they're constantly playing more pickleball against better talent, which which is just reaffirming their position at the top. It's an advantage that other players simply are just not going to have. Well, I mean, in that if that's the case, I think you just need to move to an area where you can practice with the top talent. I get more reps I think against. You have to if you want to like. You have to. Yeah. I get more reps against top talent on a practice day than I do on a tournament day, mm -hmm. right? Because we'll go for three hours, basically nonstop, and we'll go hard. And in most tournament days, you go play for half an hour, sit for two. You go play for another forty-five minutes, sit for another half hour like it's just on off on off right. you can get more reps against top talent yeah in practice than you can in in a match i understand it for the people who you know are from timbuktu or they're the only player tyson like, McGuffin. <laughs> yeah i mean but in that case, you know, you got to just kind of go where you can get practice at a certain right. point. That, you know, that's what happens in, in other sports. Mm -hmm. You need to have reps against the top talent. And yeah. now it's getting more and more. Well, you see these pockets of talent arise, right? Like a lot of players come up together, like Naples, like West South Florida. And then like, you know, that Boca area where you have all those top young players coming out of now. Um, Phoenix has a lot of strong players. Yeah. Austin, obviously, we just talked about. Wichita used to be this hotbed for the top players yeah. in the game. Jay was telling me that like those players just they aren't training nearly as much as they used to. You can kind of see that reflected in their results. Like they're not taking advantage of the proximity to talent. Yeah, are you gonna say that now after Pat just beat uh yeah, Pat was, just beat Yeah, yeah. Pat and DJ beat yeah. the Johns Bros. But that's for later. Uh, what I'm going to say to Tim's point is two backdraw met games to 15 is not going to be like the deciding factor in your pickleball career, right? But it's more it's more reps. Yeah, it's, it's, it's over over 20, 10 to twenty tournaments a year. You don't think that's going to make a difference? I think the difference that it makes is so small compared to the difference it would make to relocate to a spot where you can have top oh, training for sure at. yeah I, so i, I mean agree like with that yeah sure yes you're it, they're they're missing out on some reps but you have to make choices to get those reps right i could be working a full-time job and i'd be messing out missing out on reps but nobody feels bad for me right mm -hmm. If you live in Timbuktu, you're missing out on reps. But I don't I don't feel bad for them for 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 missing out on reps. If they are dedicated and they they like make certain decisions, they'll get the reps. They'll find the reps. Mm -hmm. That person that wants to be the best in the world is going to figure it out regardless of whether they can or can't play the back draw in some random tournament. If you're going to be the best or going to be a pro pickleball player, you will find out how to get your high-level reps. So Tim's an idiot. <laughs> Shut up, Tim. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll debate. I'll debate Tim on that. Yeah. I wish. I actually wish he was here so we could we could uh, debate it a little bit more. But I don't yeah. think it makes a big enough difference. Yeah. 